Travel back to 1936, a time dominated by black and white films. Picture a classic directed by the legendary Charlie Chaplin titled Modern Times. This timeless cinematic piece captures the essence of the Industrial Revolution, blending humor, surprise, and emotion. What makes this movie endure? Is it Chaplin's impeccable comedic timing, the relatable struggles of the working class, or the satirical perspective on modernization? Share your thoughts. Have you ever been personally moved by the influence of modern times? We want to hear your stories. Did it inspire your career choices or offer solace during tough times? Share your experiences below. As we conclude, what's your fondest memory related to this classic? Your stories add another layer to the rich narrative of modern times. Share away and let's keep the conversation alive. So join the discussion and share your tales. We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories. And remember, the laughter, shocks, and tears this movie has it all. Released in 1936, Modern Times remains a remarkable cinematic achievement that continues to captivate audiences. Despite being a silent film, it skillfully blends humor, drama, and a touch of surrealism, showcasing Charlie Chaplin's genius. The movie's social commentary on the challenges faced by individuals in the face of technological progress and bureaucratic systems is still relevant today. Chaplin's ability to seamlessly integrate silent and sound techniques demonstrates his skill in navigating different cinematic styles. The narrative unfolds with a mix of humor and drama, keeping viewers engaged throughout the one hour and 27 minutes runtime. The film introduces Chaplin's acting skills without resorting to overacting. The movie's core message transcends politics, emphasizing personal resilience and the human spirit in navigating life's complexities. In the final scene, Chaplin advises Paulette Goddard's character to keep smiling and face an uncertain future, highlighting the individual's ability to persevere. The well-known scenes, such as the conveyor belt and nut turning Chaplin caught in the cogwheels and the feeding machine showcase the filmmaker's creativity. These scenes contribute to the enduring appeal of the film, which entertains and resonates with audiences across eras. In summary, Modern Times stands as a testament to Chaplin's cinematic brilliance, offering a blend of comedy, drama, and social commentary. The movie's ability to entertain and connect with viewers, regardless of the era, solidifies its status as a great cinematic work. In 1936, Charlie Chaplin, known for his hands-on approach to filmmaking, faced the challenges of the changing movie industry with modern times. Despite the trend towards specialized teams, he stayed involved in every aspect of production. Anecdotes show his dedication, like creating stomach grumbling sounds by blowing bubbles in a pail of water. In a scene where the main character, a factory worker, waits in the sheriff's office, a subtle touch adds depth. He picks up and reads pages of Woman's Home Companion, a successful monthly magazine from 1873 to 1957. This detail connects the movie to a broader cultural context, showcasing Chaplin's attention to realism. A notable change for Chaplin was introducing a shooting script, departing from his usual hit and miss approach. The shift gained attention, with Variety noting the script's evidence that Chaplin was moving towards a more structured production style. However, predictions of a 1934 completion proved inaccurate, revealing challenges in adopting new methods. Chaplin's embrace of the shooting script marked a turning point, showcasing his adaptability. The movie, blending humor, drama, and social commentary, remains a cinematic example of Chaplin's ability to navigate the evolving movie industry in 1936. Its appeal lies not only in timeless themes, but also in behind-the-scenes anecdotes reflecting the genius of the person who led every aspect of its creation. In 1936, Charlie Chaplin directed a film that showcased the character of the gammon, portrayed by Ellen Peterson. The character's wanted card listed her alleged height as 5 and weight as 110 pounds, adding a realistic touch to her portrayal in the movie. Surprisingly, despite being cherished works, City Lights and Modern Times did not receive any Academy Award nominations. Chaplin initially held a negative view of the awards, as reflected in his use of the 1929 Honorary Award as a doorstop. However, over time, his perspective evolved, evident in his appreciation for the second Honorary Award in 1972. The film premiered at the Rivoli Theater in New York on February 5, 1936, after a slight delay. Interestingly, Chaplin avoided attending the premiere due to his discomfort with the overwhelming attention in public. This reluctance highlighted the personal challenges associated with his immense fame. 
Modern Times mirrors Chaplin's hands on filmmaking during an industry shift. Despite the move towards specialized teams, Chaplin remained deeply involved in every aspect of production. Anecdotes such as creating realistic stomach grumbling sounds showcase his dedication. Subtle touches like the main character reading pages of woman's home companion in a sheriff's office connect the film to a broader cultural context, emphasizing Chaplin's commitment to realism. Chaplin's decision to introduce a shooting script for modern times marked a departure from his usual approach, signaling adaptability to new methods in the evolving 1936 movie industry. While predictions of a 1934 completion proved inaccurate, the shift demonstrated Chaplin's flexibility in embracing change. In summary, the 1936 cinematic gem not only entertains with its blend of humor, drama, and social commentary, but also provides insight into Chaplin's dedication to his craft and his ability to navigate the changing movie industry of that era. It stands as a tribute to Chaplin's lasting influence on cinema. Released in 1936, this classic film secured its place in the official top 250 narrative feature films on Letterboxd, showcasing its lasting influence on cinema. The movie marks the final appearance of Charlie Chaplin's beloved Little Tramp character, concluding a significant era in cinematic history. Notably, it holds a distinct honor as the opening feature at the rejuvenated silent movie theater in Los Angeles, curated by Charles Lustman on November 7, 1999. This event celebrated the movie's timeless charm and highlighted its relevance even in today's cinematic landscape. This film stands as a milestone in Chaplin's career, demonstrating his ability to adapt to the evolving industry of the time. Despite the shift towards specialized production teams, Chaplin remained hands-on, involving himself deeply in every aspect of the film's creation. From creating realistic sounds like stomach grumbling to integrating subtle cultural touches, such as a character reading pages of woman's home companion, Chaplin's dedication to realism shines through. One significant change in Chaplin's filmmaking for this project was the introduction of a shooting script, a departure from his usual improvisational methods. This move signaled adaptability to the changing movie industry of 1936. Although predictions of a 1934 completion proved inaccurate, this transition underscored Chaplin's willingness to embrace new methods. The movie introduces audiences to the gammon portrayed by Ellen Peterson, with a wanted card adding a realistic touch to her depiction. Despite the absence of Academy Award nominations, the impact of the movie resonates beyond accolades. The premiere at the Rivoli Theater in New York in 1936, while slightly delayed, reflected Chaplin's reluctance to embrace overwhelming public attention, showcasing the personal challenges associated with his immense fame. In summary, this cinematic gem is not just a movie, but a reflection of Chaplin's commitment to his craft and his ability to adapt to the evolving movie industry of 1936. Its enduring appeal lies in its blend of humor, drama, and social commentary, along with behind-the-scenes anecdotes that reveal the genius behind its creation.